Welcome to Guide to Wilds. To rear its ugly head is an idiom which can be used in any situation in speaking or writing when we are talking about something negative happening. What it means is that something negative becomes visible or noticeable so that people are forced to deal with it. A few sample sentences. I was having a great time at the family dinner until the uncomfortable topic of my career choice reared its ugly head. So what this means is that I was having a good time but then someone in the family started talking about what my career choices should be and it became stressful for me. Another one is the issue of inflation reared its ugly head because of the failing economy. A few other sample sentences are on your screen. If the question asked in part 1 of IELTS speaking is what's the weather in your hometown like? And what you want to convey is that the summers are uncomfortable otherwise it's great. Your answer could be pretty great most of the year. The winters are fun, not too cold. The spring and autumn seasons are pleasant and picturesque. However, when the heat wave rears its ugly head in summers, it's unbearable. Even though it lasts only for about one and a half to two months, it seems like forever. Another example is if in part two of IELTS speaking, the cue card given is talk about someone you admire. And I want to talk about someone who's usually easy going but loses their temper in certain situations. This could be part of my answer. Although he is usually a pretty even tempered and patient person, he has no time for laziness and lethargy. If he sees someone wasting time, his anger rears its ugly head. The phrase "no time for" means to have no patience for something or to have no tolerance for something. And instead of wasting time, a better word is. squandering time so the last sentence could also be if he sees someone squandering time his anger rears its ugly head this idiom can be used when writing or speaking about environmental issues such as climate change in a sample essay that we have already posted about climate change reforms this is the sentence that we have used in the wake of climate crisis rearing its ugly head over the last decade There has been a growing call globally for climate change mitigation. The link to this essay should be on your screen now and you can also find it in the description of this video. As usual leaving you with a few quotable quotes which can help you understand the idiom better and also be a great source of inspiration and motivation. The first one is by the American writer Bernie S. Siegel. When guilt rears its ugly head, confront it, discuss it and let it go. The past is over. It is time to ask what can we do right, not what did we do wrong. Forgive yourself and move on. The next quotation is relationship advice by the author Peter Shefford. With fear, possessiveness enters the picture. Then jealousy rears its ugly head. Jealousy is the opposite of desiring life and freedom of choice for one's partner. In the next quote football player Tim Tebow is talking about being prepared for temptations and about staying focused. If you have already thought through a situation and have a response prepared ahead of time in the event temptation rears its ugly head it is that much easier to resist. American President Joe Biden is talking about the evil of discrimination that is lurking in shadows in different forms in different parts of the world. I also acknowledge that prejudice runs very deep in our society and in the real world discrimination rears its ugly head in the shadows where it's very difficult to root it out. Author Lisa Minnini talks about questioning self and over criticizing oneself in the next quote. It's easy for your inner critic to rear its ugly head. We want to punish ourselves. Author Richie Norton talks about haters in the next quotation something that can help you deal with a variety of situation from office politics to dealing with online trolls when haters start to rear their ugly head just play around with them and throw them a bone so they can go away and chew on it this quotation by author Nathan Gregory made me smile especially because of its wordplay It is very frustrating to have almost achieved complete failure only to have success rear its ugly head. And we end with this quotation by singer and actress Lady Gaga about the bitter truth of people being selfish and about trusting one's instincts. 
sometimes I get this gut feeling about people. Maybe I sense a hidden agenda or that they care for the money more than the message. I wish that I'd listened to that feeling instead of waiting for the truth to rear its ugly head. That's it for now. Hope this helped you. All the very best.